What's up, YouTube? This is Slide 8 Fry here. Weather's been a little inconsistent lately. Oh, actually, it has been consistent. Uh, let's see. It's sprinkling now. Might start to rain. Yesterday, it was sunny. The day before, it rained. The day before, it was sunny. The day before, it rained. And I guess the day before that was sunny. So it's a bit of pattern. But anyways, let's move on from that, and let's get started on this new React video to a new episode of AVGN, hell yeah, and I'm looking forward to what he plans to do for Christmas as well. But this is going to be fun, he uh, is reviewing a video game based off of The Simpsons. Who would have thought? He hasn't done that since uh, 2007. Ooh, that's been a long time now, hasn't it? But, um... Yeah, this is going to be awesome. I'm sure of it. And I just realized I'm going to actually change the settings a little more to make it so that... Uh, yeah, I guess that's... I don't know, it leaves that blank space up there. I don't like that. Um, okay, well, anyways. Well, let's get this started. Um... There's a blank space up there. Maybe I should put some text there or something, but I'm not going to focus on that right now. It's an NES. Huh. And once again, his Simpsons review is of an NES game, like it was back in 2007 with two different NES games. This is a shorter video, so this will be a, a good one to do, for sure. Not just because it's AVGN. Everybody? Hi, Dr. Nick! I've been forced here today to talk to you about World of Fish Tanks. Oh what? wait, I mean Manscaped Shadow Legends? Oh, here we go! Express VPN! Don't you hate it when your internet provider spies on all the sites you visit? Then legally uh, Ow! Speaking of which, seven dollar do for about this service. Uh, sure. Express VPN number one rated VPN in the world. Take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description. Head to expressvpn.com oh slash cinemassacre so to get this deal. Now, where were we? B -b Bye, everybody. <laughs> okay, that animated intro was way too good. How am I going to top that? Well, anyway, I want to take you back to the holiday shopping <laughs> season of December 92. Kids were hyped for awesome new toys, and I guess the movie toys on VHS too. <laughs> but I was more into demonic toys, which was released <laughs> the same year. Anyway, cool. my Christmas list included a Batman Returns playset, probably some Ninja Turtles figures, and of course, Super Nintendo games. Oh, yeah. But sadly, Super many Nintendo kids games. didn't get a Super Nintendo from Santa, and instead got this lump of coal shat into their stockings. <laughs> Bartman meets Radioactive Man. Now, you may remember, I already talked yep. about the first two Simpsons NES games. Boy, that was 13 years ago. Yeah, it was. Damn. But these were so bad, they literally made me eat my own shorts. The Simpsons is a show that's been running for a long, long time. It, it was great back then, but it's gone on way too long, and it yeah. needs to stop. It does. Okay, on to AVGN episode 180-something. <laughs> well, The Simpsons is obviously a huge... Yeah, well, The Simpsons, what are they at? Almost 700 now? Or have they surpassed 700? I have no idea. Huge franchise. And if you take a look at all the other huge franchises that made it to the NES, you'll see that one certain company held the monopoly. Oh, yeah. Spider-Man, LJN. Friday the 13th, LJN. Yeah. X-Men, LJN. Jaws, LJN. Back to the Future, LJN. Karate Kid, LJN. Roger Rabbit, LJN. Simpsons, Acclaim. Who bought and owned LJN? Ah, ah Acclaim. 
Why couldn't it be Konami? Konami made some awesome Ninja Turtles games and had the rights to make the Simpsons arcade game, which was probably one of the most popular beat-em-ups ever made. What deal with the devil did Acclaim make to get the rights to make Simpsons Nintendo games? Even on the 16-bit consoles, we never got a port of the Simpsons Arcade. Yeah, and for did. what reason? They put it on DOS and Commodore 64. Seriously, Random. the only way to play Simpsons Arcade at home back in the day was on DOS and Commodore 64? I can't even imagine trying to play it that way. I never got oh, the whole fascination with Bartman. I mean, in the 90s, there was Bartman merchandise out the ass. I mean, Bartman was everywhere, except for the actual show. When this game came out, the only time Bartman ever appeared on the show was in the episode Three Men in a Comic Book from season two. There was a Bartman right. comic book, but that didn't really start till 93, the year after this game came out. They must have been really reaching for ideas to vomit out another Simpsons game. The plot starts with Bart in his treehouse reading a comic when Fallout Boy, the sidekick of Radioactive Man, not the emo band, comes in and tells Bart that Radioactive Man is trapped in the limbo dimension and needs Bart's help to escape. So Bart changes into Bartman and sets out to help Radioactive Man. So this is the third Simpsons NES game, and it seems Bart's learned nothing after fighting space mutants and the world. Because he still controls like shit. Even that jumping sound is intact. So it definitely feels like the third part of a trilogy. A trilogy of paper cuts on your dickhole. So the point of the game is to defeat three supervillains and restore Radioactive Man's powers so you can take on Braino the Magnificent. The first enemy you take on is Swamp Hag. You start off in a junkyard fighting dogs, giant bugs, and a weird guy that I think was in the background of an episode one time. There's also tiny rats that are too short to hit. Shit like this is up there with the most assholish offenses in horrible game design. Yeah. How is making an enemy impossible to hit fair? It's, it's bullshit. It Along the bullshit. way, you collect power-ups, like laser eyes, bullshit. a tornado that makes Bart invincible, exclamation cool. points that give you a one-up, if you collect okay. 20 of them. There's also whatever this is that brings you to the limbo zone. It's a bonus level that wastes your time and makes you redo most of the level. Oh. Yeah, you can collect one-ups here, but you get enough of them during the actual game. It's best just to skip them, unless you actually want to play more of this game, which I don't. Whenever you get to these giant mountains of trash, it's a crapshoot. Going up the mountain is easy enough. When you have to go down the other side, you have no idea where you can land. So you just have to jump and hope for the best. Sometimes you can see a screw or a gear shooting up, so you know a platform's there. But lots of the time, you just have to jump and hope you land on something. If you don't land on a tire pile, you fall through the trash and die. I don't get why you can step on tires and TVs, but just go straight through a solid that, mountain yeah, of fucking garbage until you fall to hell. I hate this shit. And when you die, odds are you're starting all over from the beginning. There's checkpoints, but they're far into the level, and these levels yeah. go on forever. It's a soul-crushing experience, a but eventually game. you'll see through the bullshit and realize exactly how lazy this game truly is. <laughs> you just keep encountering the same four or five things over and over. It's monotonous and honestly, a little insulting. I can't understand who the fuck this was meant for. It can't be Simpsons fans, because other than Bart and a couple other characters, this game has barely anything to do with the show. Wow. And it definitely can't be aimed at people who like good video games, because this game sucks nut butter from a jar. <laughs> level two is another LJN game requirement, the sewer level. I've played a lot of suck bitch sewer levels in my life, ah, and this one is up bitch. there with the worst of them. There aren't many enemies, but there's these weird platform things that shoot at you. For some reason, these snowflakes or sparks or, or whatever they are, don't do shit, unless you're standing on it. I mean, it's just another thing that they threw in just to prey upon first time players. You know, if this game were a person, be a person I don't like. These okay. platforms take forever. So to save time, <laughs> I just jump down. But the game decides all of a sudden to kill you. If the screen doesn't catch up with Bart, you just die. And with the crap controls, expect to die a lot. Actually, that's not the first time I've heard of that, um, what he just said. Now, um, I know most people are familiar with the Donkey Kong Country trilogy on the Super Nintendo, where um, each game is better than the last, in my opinion. Most people could say the second game is the best, and people who just never tried the other two say the first game is the greatest game ever. Third game, I think, is the best, but moving on from there. There's also the Game Boy series called Donkey Kong Land, which is kind of like the Donkey Kong Country games, but different levels, different um, terrains, different backgrounds and stuff. 
I remember um, at the first ship level, we are on a, a, you know, like a King K. Rule style ship. Um, they actually have levels for that instead of just the boss. If you actually fell down from a certain, from high enough without landing, you would fall below the screen. Now I, now in that game it made sense because it only happened in a few levels where you had to go up. Um, and what, and why that makes sense is because, well, yeah, you fall from really high up, you're gonna die. That's how, that's just realistic. So I, I don't think that's really that much of a complaint that he made here, because I've actually seen it in a good game like Donkey Kong Land. Um, Maybe this was implemented more poorly, though. It looked like it happened pretty quickly. In that game, it's very gradual. Very gradual. Very gradual. Probably three times as long as I just move my hand down right there. But, yeah. Moving on. Let's continue. Oh, I mean, these jumps. I mean, just look. Yeah. The next level's a flying one. It's annoying and long, but once you know what to expect, eh, it's easy. Okay. These bats are pretty annoying because oh. their bombs are really hard to avoid. <laughs> Bat shit bombs. I mean, actually, this level is the closest you get to a shred of actual fun. It's a shame. <laughs> then you fight Swamp Hag. She throws lumps of shit down at you from a treetop. You freeze it, jump on the frozen shit platforms, and then beat the fuck out of her. Also, like I should mention, this boss fight fuck? is the exact moment where the game developers just gave up. It honestly messed with my head because it's so insanely easy. Everything else until this point was so frustrating, I wanted to belt sand my anus what hole off. This boss fight, here? though, is so easy, it's almost pointless. And the next levels are easy, too. There's the occasional beginner's trap, but by now I've gotten used to it. This level with the conveyor belt was kind of fucked, but once you realize exactly what's fucked about it, you're able to make it to the exit, no prob. It's the most obvious path to take. But the game fucks with your head. You think that there's no way it could actually be that easy, but it is. There's numerous routes to take, and if you go the wrong way, you'll fall into a piss river. I mean, seriously, look at that. It's a glowing yellow river of piss that Bart drowns in. The water levels seem like they're going to be hard because, you know, they're water levels. But no, I got through them without any issues. Wow. In this one, everything's dark except for the searchlight, and even this is easy. The boss here is Dr. Julius Crab, not Zoidberg. <laughs> All you have to do is if avoid only. the small crab and sure you can him three times, and then it's on to the next level. Okay. Now you're in the underground caves of Lava Man. This level is whatever. I got stuck in the beginning here for a while before I realized I have to fall down this pit. Up until now... I noticed that when you actually get hit, it's the same sound they make in... Uh those other Bart NES games he reviewed in 2007 as well. Bart died from falling in pits, and the game was cheap as shit with its death traps. Now you're in the underground caves of Lava Man. This level is whatever. I got stuck in the beginning here for a while before I realized I have to fall down this pit. Up until now, Bart died from falling in pits, and the game was cheap as shit with its death traps, so I kept passing it. Like I said, this game and fucks you with your head. Other That's than that, up. the level's straightforward. It's actually challenging rules. and doesn't throw too much bullshit at you. You also get to make use of Bartman's flight powers. They're limited, so whatever you do, don't run out in a place where you get fucked over, like this. Yeah. The next level is a bullshit maze oh, of doorways no. that lead you all over the it's place. The this is again. definitely the worst level in the game. The first thing you run into is a waterfall that kills you instantly. There's absolutely zero indication that it's a hazard until you touch it and just die. The shit part is, they're littered throughout the level, and a lot of time I forget and get killed again. They just look like part of the background. Also, you one? can't jump between platforms, even if they look close enough. If you do, guess what? You die. Eventually, you find your way around and get near the end when they throw this room at you. You have to choose oh between God. four doors. One door is the right way, and the others just bring you damn near back to the beginning. So of course I chose the wrong door and had to redo it all. This is extremely close to the end of the game. By now I know all the traps and how to avoid them, but I keep getting fucked by this door puzzle. It's, so it's basically the coffin puzzle in Bart vs. the World, yes. repackaged and even more annoying. Yes, exactly. I'm on my last life, and even if I make it through, I'm probably gonna have to do the fucking door puzzle again. Yeah, I bet. I drew a map, and thankfully, that helped out. I made it through, beat Lava Man, who thank God is also easy as shit, and got Radioactive Man's final power back. They talk for like five seconds, then go off together to face the final boss. Braino the Magnificent! Oh, 
I want my last life. I really don't want to do this over again. But it's the easiest boss fight so far. You shoot lasers that bounce off Braino and reflect off Radioactive Man. It only takes five hits, and Braino can hardly even hurt you. The guy's a giant brain, but it's dumb as shit. <laughs> then Radioactive Man awkwardly talks to Bartman again, and that's it. The shitty-ass game is done. And I don't have to play another one for a while. But for how long? For a little bit, at least. The NES Simpsons games were such a steaming ass pile, squirted out the diseased dickhole of my arch nemesis LJN in disguise. <laughs> Acclaim was able to pass off their putrid piss poison as presents, ruining Christmas for lots of kids. Oh, that makes me so angry. I'm gonna have a cow, man! <laughs> what? Ah! Ah! Okay, ah! Ah! Oh! He's playing some games, okay, the worst he recalls. <laughs> He's gonna find out which one sucked the most balls. The angry video game nerd is here. Oh, he's making a list and checking it twice. He's gonna go home and eat chicken and rice. The angry video game nerd is here. He hates the games that stink. He knows which games to break. He just might even hate them all Cause he's mad for yeah, fucking buddy. sake <laughs> You better watch out, don't give these games a try You better not play him, he's telling you why <laughs> The angry video game nerd is here Happy holidays to all Well, you could have said happy fuck days or something <laughs> Awesome That was quite a blast Really happy I saw it and hopefully this adjustment I made made it so that my face is easier to see in the, on the reacts and I'm not blocking much of the view. Um, I had received a comment about it on uh, my uh, war recent Warp Zone react and took it pretty seriously because it's, it's, it's good feedback actually. Um, which does let you know that I will listen to feedback if I... If, if it's more constructive as opposed to some guy just being a jerk. But anyways, um, damn... My hair, I need to take care of my hair. <laughs> Anyways, that was so much fun to watch. Seriously, that was an incredible video. I <laughs> Once again, AVGN, you doubt, you outdid yourself again. I guess this is going to be his Christmas episode. I was thinking that there was going to be a different one later on that would be the Christmas episode, but uh, I guess this will be the one, which um, is fine, you know? Um, it doesn't have to be a game that's completely Christmas-oriented or a Bible game or whatever the case may be. So that's awesome. Um, nice to see him, you know, return to the Simpsons, to, uh, NES games of the Simpsons. Um, God, they just really don't, um, I, I've personally never, never really played, I, I've never actually bothered with the, actually I wasn't even aware of the NES games. I do recall, uh, Virtual Bart on the Super Nintendo, or maybe with the Sega Genesis, I, I don't remember, but I remember that game, and my older brother's playing it. And that game was really hard. I could tell it was really hard. It was a bit unfair and probably not even that good of a game looking back at it, to be honest. Although probably better than those NES games that he's been reviewing. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's it's amazing how many Simpsons games there are and how many of them just aren't very good. I know there's like a mobile game now. I've never played it, but I'm guessing it's one of those damn freemium games or whatever. Although uh, some freemium games are not bad, they don't they're not too harsh about it, but I've heard that game might be harsh about it, I'm not sure. Um Once again, absolutely love the jokes from AVGN. The fucking nerd is amazing. Love the Cinemassacre channel. Can't help it. It's just so much fun to watch. Uh, I've actually watched literally every episode of Angry Video Game Nerd. Now, I've only made reacts to videos of his from this year. Because that's when I started doing React videos. But nevertheless, I've watched every single episode. Um, and I watched them over and again. I mean, if I, if I could actually get much better into coding and, you know, be, be certified and actually design apps and websites, I'd actually make a website that just allows you to watch random uh, 
YouTube videos, as in you just go to the website, you press the button, choose the YouTube channel or series, and, and say watch random video. Primarily for Angry Video Game Nerd, and possibly also for Ryan George and Nostalgia Critic and other stuff like that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell icon to have your notifications.